All right. Um, yeah, so my name's Steve McVeigh. Um, I've just heard a presentation by Dr. Ken uh, Co from uh, Brisbane, who is who graduated from the University of Queensland Medical Faculty, and is a practicing GP in uh, Brisbane um, with a special interest in sexual health. Um, he uh, presented on dual therapy. So Dr. Ken presented on uh, dual therapy, which is um, well traditionally HIV therapy has been triple therapy, and that means that. Uh, there are three drugs that attack the HIV virus at diff three different stages of its life cycle. Um, dual therapy is two drugs which attack the virus at two different stages of the life cycle. Um, the main benefit of that would be less drugs mean less toxicity. In Dr. Ken's study, um, he had five participants and uh, two of the main um, benefits that, that arose from the study was that less drugs mean less toxicity and that means less adverse effects from those drugs. Um, one of those effects, which is a key one, is less um, b uh, reduced bone density loss in the people who, part who took part in the study. Another part of what, do what do Dr. Ken spoke about was um, lots of very scientific details of what the different combinations of those drugs means. I'm not a scientist and so I'm not about to go into that, uh, but there were some different provisos that he mentioned at the end of his study. Um, one of them that uh, to be on the study you had to have a viral load of over 500,000 and a CD4 count of below 200. Um, it was interesting that you had to also have zero resistance to um, any other drugs, any, any, any other drug history. Um, and also there are still some questions around what dual therapy means for pregnancy as well. Um, one, of, one major factor is that with triple therapy, you often can treat uh, hepatitis B as well. And so if you go to dual therapy, you have to make sure that you're still treating hepatitis B. Um, there's a definite increase with cholesterol when you uh, start with some combinations on dual therapy, and that also means that there's increase in uh, weight as well, physical weight, but there's still more data to come in on that. The way that I see um, uh, dual therapy benefiting people living with HIV and Aotearoa is uh, less side effects mean higher quality of life. Um, and higher quality of life also could potentially mean, in this case, with less, less toxicity, a longer life, which is something that we can all kind of relish.